Just be out with us to Curacao, the homeland of Blue Curacao. If you go out drinking, this is the stop C, or is it C? <laughs> From the ABC Islands trip, we are cruising on the Norwegian. Epic! And this is our second stop. If you missed our stop from Aruba, we will leave the link in the description and also the links to uh, Norwegian Epic Walk and Tour, Norwegian Epic Pros and Cons. And now we're here in Curacao exploring everything Curacao has to offer. We are now standing on the famous floating bridge here in Curacao. And if you see us kind of waving back and forth, it's because this bridge is actually suspended on what looks to be like mini pantoons? boats underneath like yeah like pontoons underneath so that's what keeps it floating and not only that it's cool you'll notice there's an actual ship on the other side of this bridge so what this bridge does is not a typical drawbridge that opens up it actually just swings open so that cruise ships and other boats can pass by and hopefully in this video we'll be able to show you guys what that actually looks like and it's really cool even though when the bridge is open you can catch a free ferry to go across this canal or um, river well this actually enters the sea right there <laughs> and something that's really odd that we noticed when we got off the cruise ship is that there wasn't any vendors for excursions so I don't really know if it's not a lot to do here or maybe it's just kind of these type of city tours as soon as you get off the ship there are taxis everywhere no tours but taxis and they offer you to go to different beaches the port itself is a really short walk from where the Norwegian epic docked and passing by you see a lot of vendors selling souvenirs handcrafts there is an actual fort that used to be uh, protecting Curacao from pirates but now it got converted into a mall and it's really cool uh, cool vibes there there's lights lots of live music there are performances everywhere as we walk by so far lots of colors lots of music good vibes definitely so let's start exploring Curacao just, just be, be out, out with, with us, us. As soon as you cross the bridge, you will see this installation of three hearts and they are covered with locks. And what's cool about this is that you can actually bring your lock and hook it, if you find space, hook it on the hearts as well. People do some writings on the locks and some locks are really beautiful, some locks really stand out. So I think it's a cool experience to come to Curacao and put your lock on the heart. I'm feeling pretty tired from back-to-back -back excursions and ports of call, so I definitely need to fuel up on coffee. We found this cute Van Gogh specialty coffee shop, so let's try some Curacao coffee. <music> Curacao vibes, I'm loving it. Yes, it is so peaceful here and the colors of the buildings they're so vibrant every single color of the rainbow you could think about is everywhere around every corner and it just seems so pleasant and, and calm and tranquil here i don't know it's kind of like that real peaceful vibe uh, locals seem to be really friendly yes uh, there is a lot of shopping and it feels super safe here mm -hmm. and of course there's tourists uh, a lot of tourists there's right now actually there are three ships in port and i'm sure all of them have over 4,000 passengers <laughs> this coffee shop is really cool as you can see the colors are super bright and this uh, coffee shop this is called the uh, van gogh coffee shop and it's also a drive through and the drive through is really funny because there is in the driveway just a, a little truck in the middle of the driveway it's actually a parking lot it's yeah. just a little oh, yeah. parking lot and the, the coffee truck is in the middle of the parking lot and the cars just loop around. Pretty smart idea. Yes. And the coffee tastes good as well. We're going to continue walking around and see what else this place has to offer. There's a few places that they suggested to us. So we'll take you along with us. Just a two 
minute walk from the coffee shop where we just were, we stumbled across this gem. Mundo Bizarro. It's actually a, an authentic Cuban restaurant and the core here is just so perfect. Well, they call it actually a Cuban house and it's been converted into a restaurant and it's just, they have an upstairs, so there's two floors with a balcony and then outside the front of the uh, restaurant, they actually have another little balcony that you can go on. It's beautiful here, like the, the architecture, it's rustic, it looks old and just nostalgic and really like Cuban, you get that Cuban vibe when you're in here. It's so funny, we love Curacao so much that while we're here, I actually went on Airbnb. I already found us a place to come here after our two back-to-back -back cruises. And when I started looking at the flights, I didn't find good flights for the day that we are finishing our second cruise. But the, uh, the actual um, accommodations is very, very affordable. affordable. So this place is definitely a cool vibe. They told us in nighttime, everyone we spoke to about this place, they said in the evening come nighttime and Thursdays, if you happen to be here on a Thursday, Thursday night, they remove all the furniture from the interior and they put it out in the streets and they have a band and there's dancing and it's supposed to be a blast here. So we're definitely enticed to come and spend some time here and, and enjoy this place and, as well as course out. And if you've been here at Mundo Bizarro evening time, let us know in the comments below and share your experience with us. So we're going to move on and continue exploring this beautiful, colorful, vibrant town. And we're gonna see what else we can get into. Just a few minutes from where we were, we stumbled upon this little gem as well. It's the local market. It's and called Punda Market. Okay, it's the Punda Market. And here, they sell a whole lot of local stuff like beans and gifts and medicine. And, and fruits and vegetables. Uh, uh, local oh. crafts, souvenirs. Keep, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. <laughs> the handmade jewelry. This looks like the spot if you need to buy souvenirs, forget about right off the cruise ship like come here and it looks like the prices are very affordable so this would be the place you'd want to come and shop we see a lot of people walking through here and picking up items so yes this is the place the punda market so we just found out we asked one of the locals here what exactly these bottles are because we see it at almost every stand so she explained to us a little bit she spoke a little bit of english but enough for us to understand so this right here is hun honey of course smell 100 honey so this one here has rosemary and turmeric in it, so it's good for your hair. Then you have this right here, this is coconut for your skin, obviously. And then there's this one that people own, the shark. So it's good for the cough. If you have a cough, you drink this and it's supposed to be good for you. So they have all their natural remedies here, which is really cool. Right behind me there is Dushi sign and you will see Dushi everywhere in Car Curacao. Dushi vibes, Dushi shop. Dushi means sweet, it derives from word dolce mean, meaning sweet. So Dushi sign and right next to it there is a Curacao sign. Dushi Curacao, sweet Curacao. How sweet is that? Behind me you see this cute, adorable pink trolley. And while we were walking around town, we saw it kind of going in between the streets. So I figured I'd come here and find out some information about it. Well, it actually just takes you around the town. It takes you around the historical parts of Curacao. It's a short ride. The thing is, is that you can't get tickets or try to book the ride right here while, when you see it. You have to actually book it while on the cruise. So they can't take any type of cash from you, any type of payment. So if you don't book this trolley from your cruise ship, 
there's no way that you can get on it. But then again, it's only kind of like a, a cruise around town, which everything is walkable anyway. So either way, you'll be able to see this gorgeous town. Bridge, and this neighborhood is called Otro Banda. It is a, a neighborhood filled with a lot of colorful, beautiful arts on the building, gorgeous murals, and it is a little bit difficult to find a specific area for you to come. So I will leave the pin right to this spot right here where we're standing right now on Google Maps, and you can find that in the description below. But just walking around this neighborhood, you will see a lot of art on the building. Even We saw even a dead tree in somebody's backyard that was painted bright, fuchsia pink and all the houses over here are painted different colors it's like almost like a law if you have a house you have to paint it bright something bright color it's really awesome here in some areas even the floors are painted they have art installations out of recycled materials we highly recommend you to come and explore Otro Banda back to Punda district just to take uh, some shots of the blue mural with yellow sunflowers it, it was a little difficult to find the location so if you would like to know where it is i will leave the direct google pin in the description below so you get the most out of your uh, williamstead exploration and on the way back the bridge actually closed and so many people just bum rushed through the bridge it was really cool to take the ferry there and take the bridge on the way back overall we are in love with Curacao. Williamstead just took our hearts. It is so vibrant, so yes. colorful, awesome vibes, <laughs> douchey vibes. I love it. Just a few JBO Pro tips, ladies. Wear something bright and colorful. There's so much colors and it's awesome to take pictures if you wear something colorful. Yellow, purple, blue, Doesn't matter green, what color you wear, pink. you can't go wrong. Right, gentlemen, if you care, most guys just, <laughs> ah, just put a t-shirt on and I don't care. Other JBO Pro tips, if you'd like to do an excursion, be sure to book it through your cruise line because there are no um, tourist uh, vendors here, no tourist information a stand or anything like that. So be sure to book it in advance through your cruise line. But if you don't, <laughs> there is plenty of things to do. There are lots of taxis that you can take anywhere and go to beautiful Curacao beaches. Yes, we heard the beaches were really nice and we just uh, had fun exploring the town. It was a fantastic day here at Willemstad Curacao. Stop C for our ABC Islands. Our stop B for Bun Air is coming next, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification so you don't miss when we publish our next video. If you would like to support our channel, click that heart button below this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as usual, just, Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Cheers.